All right, guys, welcome back. So now we have customers, we have invoices, and now we just got paid. But how do we record it in your QuickBooks Online? Now let's look at our dashboard right down here. Invoices. You might have this widget over here, maybe over there, but let's look at it. We've got $190 that we have not recorded into our QuickBooks Online. Um, and this is good too for customers that do not want to pay in full. QuickBooks Online does a good job on letting you know current balances of payments or invoices that you have out. So let's get into it. Let's go over here to sales and let's go to, here is our, what was it, $190? These numbers added up. Now I'm sure your look, yours look completely different and we've got our invoice numbers over here. Uh, it's good to track these down to, we might have to search these down the line or go back in our books a year from now. And it's good that there's always invoice numbers on our invoices. Anyway, on with the Borafill. Let's go ahead and collect this $100. So let's go ahead and click Receive Payment and find invoice by, we just saw the numbers back there. Um, I remember in the last video, we set up credit card payment and direct bank transfer, but I used fake information, so it did not allow me to use it. But if you use your real banking information, you will be able to accept it. Let's go ahead and just click, they paid us by cash and it's gonna go into our business bank account. Here's our invoice right here. You can clear the payment over here. That means get rid of it. It literally just is like hitting zero on the calculator or reset on a calculator. Um, if they don't plan on paying in full, maybe they wanna pay half, 50 bucks. Well, 50% will go in as a sale and 50% will still remain as a balance. It's very convenient for QuickBooks Online. But they did pay us $100, they paid us cash, and it's gonna go into our business banking account. So I'm gonna click save and new, even though I just wanna record this one. Okay, payment received $100. Let's go back to our dashboard, and we can see that it has been recorded. We just recorded $100 into our business banking account. We still have $90 out there. And to see it on paper, maybe you wanna see it in a report, Let's just go over to profit and loss for the sake of this tutorial. Let's run this and it's gonna show up. Where is our $100 of sale? It is in here. We added a lot of things <laughs> throughout this playlist so far, but it is in here, it is in sales. That's kind of the gist of it. Again, if you guys did not get paid in full, um, I'll just do a quick little, we'll go back to sales. We're gonna go to another guy, maybe this guy, 30 bucks. He can only pay us 15. He's broke, he's eating pork and beans every night. Amount received, $15, just like that. And let's go ahead and click save and new. $15 did go into our business bank account and then we still have the balance right here of $15. That's it, hopefully this made sense. Every time you get paid, record it in your QuickBooks Online and try to do it, I try to do it the day that I do get paid. Sometimes you'll get paid or whatever, and then it's the weekend on Monday, you forget to do it, and your QuickBooks numbers just get a little bit more unorganized and confusing when it comes tax season. Hopefully that made sense. Good luck with this, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.